Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here, and today I want to take a little bit of a trip down Google Calendar Road into the past. Now, this is not a new update, but I will tell you this. Since it was put into place, it has been often overlooked, and a lot of people ask me, when are they going to add this functionality in Calendar? And I have to sadly break it to them that it is already there, and it's been there for over six months now. Now, here is the feature that I'm talking about. If we look at the top of our calendar, you'll see that we have the option of setting up our location. And in the hybrid environment that a lot of us are working from these days, this has been a really good key to helping people know when am I in the office for an in-person type of meeting and when am I at home or another location. So let's look at this. Up at the top, underneath the six, you'll see that I have my office set up for Monday. Tuesday, I'll be working from home. Who knows what's for the rest of the week. And if you want to set this up for your full week schedule, upper right hand corner to the gear icon, we go into our calendar settings. To the left of the screen, you're going to be underneath our general section. And about halfway down in the middle of my page there on that left side, you'll see working hours and location. Now we can set up our full schedule of a Monday through Friday type of schedule or whatever we work. We can set the working hours, even if it's a split shift like I've done here. And then there's this location piece where I can pick office, home, or unspecified. Now, here's where the game changes. Let's exit out of this because this is where we can change things up on a fly. We can go ahead and click on that location and we can edit it and change things up from here. But let's say tomorrow's going to be kind of a weird day for me. I'm actually going to be working for three hours at a particular location doing a quick on-site training. So I'm going to be home most of the time, which is my typical. But for this one area, I want to let people know where I'm going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the add location piece underneath Wednesday the 8th. It brings up our dialog box. You'll see that we can choose the location of home, office, or underneath that other locations, another office or another location, this is what's going to be key. And the other piece that this is going to play with is going to be this option that everybody overlooks. To the right of the screen, you'll see how it says add time. I can actually pick a particular window of time that I am going to be in this location. So let's show you how we can set this up. So I'm going to click on add time first, and it doesn't have to be in any particular order. I'm going to say that I'm going to work from this location from two o'clock until five o'clock at the end of my day. Then I'm going to go to other locations. We're going to say other office or other, but I'm going to put this way to show you the flexibility of another location. And I can actually type in where my location is going to be. So I'm just going to say this is going to be Ken Pratt Boulevard. have no idea what this address is. I can even say it's going to be in Longmont, Colorado. I could give a zip code, whatever. But here's what's kind of neat. This actually can connect to Google Maps. Or what you can do is just type in where you're going to be. I'm going to be at Office ABC because usually DEF is my home location or whatever. You've got some flexibility with this add location piece to type in what you want. We'll click on add. And now you'll see on my schedule, it says from two until five, I'm going to be working at that location. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on save. And now if people need to book me during that time, they're going to see that I am in this location as opposed to being at home. So it's just another way to get people another heads up of where you're going to be maybe differently than what you usually do. And you can set these up in multiple ways. So let's say, for example, you are traveling for this day. Okay. Then we can set one location up from eight to 10, another location up from 10 to 12, and then another location from two to four or whatever it may be. So you've got some flexibility to use that feature as you see fit to help you out with your working locations. Until we meet again, another day, another time, another tip, trick, hack, or update. In this case, it was a tip, a trick, and a hack to sharing your location with others to make it a little bit more flexible for you with Google Calendar. Until we meet again, this is Gary the Google Guy, 
signing out.